This is my 89 Crown Vic wagon, and it has a problem. Well, many problems. And this is Canelo's Custom Paintworks in Pennsylvania. Bruce and Jenny recently opened this shop to focus on quality custom work and creating art, which is exactly what my wagon needs. I gave them a call, set up a date, and today is the day I drop it off. Let's check out everything that needs to get cooking on the wagon. We're gonna get this rust repaired. That fixed up. This is gonna get fixed. The entire roof, I mean, look at this. The roof rack was on it, and the guy that removed it did a terrible job. We took the whole headliner out so he can repair it. You can see right up through. This car had a little bit of a leak. I got most of the interior taken apart for him, so it's nice and easy. All he has to do is get up there and weld it closed, and then there's also that. The passenger floor is a bit rough, needs to get fixed up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's coming from somewhere. Here are some close-up shots of the roof work that needs to get done. Thankfully this car is healthy metal so it isn't a huge headache to weld. The old bodywork done on the roof just falls off like potato chips. Removing the body filler the previous owner put in revealed these roof rack mounting holes that they also hammered down. This metal and then filled over it. And he's trying to bring this back up and see how it's lower. Trying to smooth it out here. He got it pretty smooth here. They need to be put back up into place and welded shut for a permanent leak proof fix. Here the metal is getting treated to kill any rust and sealing with a low tack water resistant tape to set. Finishing up the metalwork here with a touch of Duraglass. Sanding down the paint to see just how bad the rust damage is. Thankfully, it's not too bad. And the rear wheels on these cars usually completely disintegrate, so I'm lucky that hasn't happened yet, which is why I need this work done now. Overall, the bodywork and paint job had a few setbacks, such as a death in the family, a very troublesome client. Heavy winter storms keeping the power off for extended periods of time, the air compressor broke, the owner's historic home needed emergency roof and pipe repairs, the welder needed a new valve, and other projects took priority for more income to the shop. The old emblems and badges a previous owner removed left poorly finished holes, so they also needed to be welded shut and cavity wax sealed. The front windshield post also had some weird bodywork done that needed some welding to fix. Templates had to be made and plugs punched out for the perfect fit to match each individual hole. Here's the floor getting prepped and fixed up, the rust is getting removed, and I wanted to replace it with an OEM floor pan, but it was pretty difficult to find one, and if I did, it was in a sedan that was already rusted out itself. So we're just gonna put fresh metal in there and leave the drain plugs out because we're gonna need the water to escape somewhere. No, I don't need to keep it.
Taking some of the trim off, a whole bunch of screws, just take those and this just pulls right down. The gasket right there, had to pull this gasket away so you could get to a few of the screws on here. Yeah, just pull it right out. I'm lending a hand for some of the build to learn and feel better knowing I had a part of the process. The owner says he never allows others into his shop, but appreciated the love I showed in my build and wanted me to have a hand in the process. He said the car deserves to have me in every part of its story, and I can't respect that enough. The front door, these are on there pretty good. I think there's sealant on it. I'm just pulling very lightly on it and getting it out. On the front door here, there's a single screw at the bottom here. Make sure you get this out. And here's the front door trim. It's pretty gooped up there. There's the screws that go along the side. And then these clips sit on here and hold the trim and pinch it in place. There's clips all around like this. They sit on here like so. They get pushed in and you just gotta peel them back to get this trim off. The bottom looks about the same. This one here looks like it's broken or a little bent. It'll have to get fixed. It's all the way up and around. And the back of the trim is where it clips onto. The sides tops the whole thing and that side's done so this trim gets removed by this screw here and down over here there's a screw that comes in that you're gonna need would take a little tiny ratchet like that I would take this just comes right off so the front windshield has the same clips right here. I'm just getting under it and pulling on it like this and just pops right out. Got all the trim labeled and in bags where they go, hopefully you remember. They are able to make any color you want or match the factory paint with their new paint system shown here. We removed all of the trim and labeled all of the pieces so we can reassemble it quickly. Well, at least that's the plan. Here's one last look at what the car used to look like. The faded flat black that continued to wear away after every wash with spots of tan color and rust everywhere. The first coat of paint actually went on the car on March 6th. He reassured me it'll get done even if he has to be up 24 hours straight. It's now March 9th and the 10th is the show. I work at 11 a.m. and the earliest I could get to the shop, myself and the videographer together was at 10 a.m. All right, picking up the wagon. I have not seen it yet. He sent me progress pics up until it's finished. Uh, he told me he's finishing up the trim, so I might have to give him a little hand finishing that up. But the show is tomorrow. Uh, really cutting it down to the wire, some real TV show stuff going on here. They ain't lying, it it comes down to with this bodywork stuff. So. Alright, let's see. Alright,
quickly, put the lights back in, drove it to work in a rainstorm, fresh out the paint booth, and then right to the show the next morning. And here's a bunch of progress photos of the bodywork and paint that was done in the last 36 hours. <laughs> taped over the stickers and the interior so that there was no overspray. shop was able to pick up an additional set of hands to push some work out to help speed projects up, adding a powder coating setup and be HP Tuner certified. They are looking to move down this street to a 4 bay garage for more offerings in the future. He recommends Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash and touch up with spray way glass cleaner into a towel and not to rub too hard or polish the flat clear. Painted under the hood as well to match, thankfully that tan is all gone now. I would have kept the car how it was forever, but the bodywork needed to be done, so paint was also necessary. Making it uniform flat black was the best artistic choice in our opinion, along with retaining some patina around the edges. The stripes were on the car when I bought it, so we believe they should make a return. So I literally got the car back from the shop yesterday. It was painted yesterday, finished up, got the trim on, got the lights in, all that good stuff, and just made it to the show. Wow, what, what a time crunch. So the car, uh, if you're looking at it from the inside, it don't really look done. <laughs> the outside's done, trust me. Uh, the trim's kind of fallen off on the front. Uh, the clips might not have been put on right on the windshield, but it'll get there, it'll get there. Oh, it just popped out. As you can uh, see there. So it's vibrating, it won't fall off, it'll be fine. The show went very well. It smelled up the whole building like fresh paint and a lot of followers, subscribers, and friends came to check out its unveiling. Thank you all for your support that came out. Two other patina vehicles actually won trophies, which is pretty rare in my area, but I didn't build this for shows, I built it for me. I still have a lot of work to do, like the interior, the plastic trim pieces on the bumper need to get refinished, new custom wheels, a drivetrain swap for towing down the road as well, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see this car continue to be built. Big thanks to Vroom Valley for always getting great shots of my build and being a great friend. His info is down below, if you're in PA or New Jersey, send him a message so you can get some great shots for you as well.